A two to one macro ratio, the amazing Laowa 100 mil macro PL lens. Let's dive into this amazing lens. So one of the things I would ask is what are you looking for in a cinema style macro lens? So for me, it really comes down to making sure all the manual gears are nice and they're well uh, built, the lens is well built, and then that it's sharp but not too sharp. And that's where this really ticks all those boxes. The other thing is to be aware of is that this lens is a two to one. Really make sure you know that this lens is really tight. So this lens is very, very close. So you can get really close shots. Now, because it's a hundred mil though, it's not giving you that wide close up look that I think a lot of younger filmmakers are kind of getting more adapted to because of probe lenses, which, you know, Lau really did kind of start that in the ways of marketing that and getting that out there. So just be aware of that. If you're looking for a lens where you come right up to the eye and you still see half of their face, this isn't that type of lens. This lens that I have used on commercials has been for, you know, timepieces and watches. And I used it for some food. I've used it for uh, a product. Well, I can't, um, used it for a jewelry company, things like that, where I'm not so much needing to see a lot of the atmosphere where I'm really just more focused on exactly pinpoint close. And so that's where this lens just shines. Another question that I would ask is the weight of the lens. You know, this lens is heavier. Now it's not insanely heavy and it's not overbearing, but it does have some weight to it. So if that's an issue and your slider or head or gimbal can't handle certain weight, then you may need to look at something lighter. I'm not gonna talk about any lens companies specifically, but thus far from the ones that I've used, especially in this price point, give or take probably like $500, this has been my favorite thus far, mainly because of that closeness of it that you can get. And then also realizing that you can still kind of be farther away and get really, really close. So. Yeah, and then and then the look. The look is something I really like. It's a pleasing, natural, easy to use, easy to grade look. So do I recommend the Laowa 100 mil macro lens T29? Absolutely. It is a fantastic built lens, a great, great buy. It's not insanely expensive by any means, and it really will be a good investment for years and years to come. I've thrown it on robot arms. I've thrown it on the Xebo robot. I've thrown it on sticks, handheld, and this thing has just been a fantastic lens. So I'll have links below if you wanna check it out and buy it yourself. Um, and then let me know if you have any questions. Leave them in the comments. That's a big goal of mine this year is just to really just have dedicated days of answering people's questions. I really want to focus on growing the YouTube channel a lot more. And um, yeah, I've had a lot of time with this lens and I, I genuinely really, really like it. So ask away. Um, I also will be doing a comparison of this lens to another very a uh, similar uh, lens to this as well. And I'm just gonna post that just with like some music or something. I appreciate everything. Follow me, don't follow me. Subscribe, don't subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Well, there you go then. Nothing to worry about.